What's going on guys? Today I am back with part two of advanced static analysis and what we are going to be doing is grabbing all of this malicious VBA macro script and we're going to decode it but in order to do that we're going to be running a couple of commands so the first command I want you guys to run is this one right here I'm going to be copying it and pasting it like always so what we are doing is we are just going to be grabbing the VBA macro script that is decoded and we're going to be outputting it to a new file right here it might be confusing at first but I'm going to be showing you why I did this in a bit so what you guys want to do is type this command in and press enter and then if we look back uh, here is the new uh, file right here baddoc.vba and I want you guys to make sure one thing I want you to right click this uh, new file that we have and then make sure you have Visual Studio Code so if you guys don't see it click open with other application and then click view all application and then look for Visual Studio Code, right? Not this one right here. This one says URL handler. We don't want that. We want to look for this one, Visual Studio Code. Click it and then click select like I just did. All right, hope that was simple. And the next command we're going to be doing, oh, I did not mean to open that up. Let me get rid of that real quick. All right, the next command we're going to be running is this one right here. And this command is the ultimate command. And what this is going to do is it's going to decode all of the malicious VBA macro script so we can read it. So right here is a new command. So I just pasted it in and then uh, let that uh, finish and it just finished. But let me explain what the command did. So we grabbed the VBA macro script with all of VBA and then we uh, deobfuscated it or decoded it and then we revealed it. And then uh, you remember this uh, output file I made in the first command? We put it right here and then we output it to a new file called baddoc underscore deobfuscate.vba. So let's minimize this. All right, as of right now, what you guys want to do is look for the one that says uh, deobfuscate.vba, right click it and click open with Visual Studio Code. And this is gonna be crazy, watch this. So for the first part uh, of this output, we see the obfuscated code because they want to show us the difference with between the obfuscated one and the deobfuscated one so if you scroll down more and keep scrolling down you would see the deobfuscated version okay this the first box right here that you see remember we're not focusing on that we want to focus on the second box right here let me scroll down and this box right here would give us more information since it is deobfuscated let me scroll down even more as you guys can see so I want you guys to make sure that everything above uh, the second box right here, all of this is the deobfuscated version right here, as uh, you guys see. So scroll down, just ignore the top part. So go to the second box, and the second box has more information. That's how you know this one is uh, decoded or deobfuscated. And then when I look at everything, um, we have more information, right? But what type of information do we have? inside of the box so obviously we have the regular auto execute which is not good and then uh, let's see when I scroll down I see um, uh, PowerShell commands right here we see it right here and uh, we have uh, some that say uh, execution policy right here so it says may run PowerShell commands as we uh, see so from this we know that PowerShell commands are in uh, side of this VBA macro script once we decoded it from the previous one it was all decoded we did not know there was PowerShell commands in it so we have other PowerShell commands like create object and a new object and a net dot web client that basically means we're downloading something from the internet and then we have download file right here let's uh, see what other things we have and oh my god look we have a uh, 444.exe it says executable file name we have cmd.exe and then we have hell.exe I don't know what the heck that's doing there, but yeah, we have cscript.exe, and then we have a lot of other stuff. So we have the temp directory right there, and then uh, let's see, we have ping, uh, this IP address, dash n2, and then let's see, what other stuff? We have ping again right here. We have a lot of other stuff. We have the URL right here, but it's like broken, uh, but yeah, and then let's see what other stuff do we have. Yeah, it's pretty much, uh, some of the things are repeating, but I want you guys to understand that. Um, oh, I see PowerShell right here, and then execution uh, policy bypass dash no profile. That's really bad if you guys see that in a combination. So yeah, I just want you guys to understand that the command we just ran it gives you so much information. 
but yeah so when we scroll uh, down we see the code and this code is uh deobfuscated right here as you guys can see um all of vba tried its best to deobfuscate everything but yeah it could only like do what it can in this case but we see everything in a way more clear format so yeah so as you guys can see we have this right here and uh let's see what could, could we do in this case so i'm looking at this whole code right so the first thing i notice is that um we're doing something with the temp directory right here so as you guys can see the location c users user app data local temp so just focus on the temp directory because that could be a really important uh, location for later and if we scroll down uh, let's see what other things we can find uh, let me see uh, okay we see ping right here we see ping in here and then uh, like I said a C Windows uh, attempt again we see that a lot and then ping again and then oh what is that so we see a location right here so C Windows temp and then we have a executable by the name of 444.exe which in this case could be an indicator of compromise so we got to watch out for that and then uh, let's see oh we found a URL but okay this is where you guys want to pay attention so we have a, a string right here right but we see that the string is separated by um, plus signs and quotation marks so we need to find right here you guys see this value it says plus and then we have the string right here which is highlighted plus dot exe so what I know is that we need to find what this piece of string equals because if we can find what uh, J A S H or, or whatever it's called, or like what it is equal, we can literally make the whole string together. We can piece it together and find what it really means. So in this case, we need to find what this value equals. So what you guys want to do is right click and click copy. And we are going to click edit and then click uh, find because uh, we want to find. Uh, this piece of string and see what uh, it equals to so what you guys want to do is click the up arrow and then oh We found this right here. We, we found that it equals to this uh, Value right here dot four four slash upd slash install. Let's see if it equals to anything else uh, Let's go up. Nope Nope, and uh, yeah, it's the same thing. Let's go back down. Let's go back down to where we were at previously Okay, right here. So now what you guys want to do is we want to replace uh, the string that we have that we cannot read J A S H with the new uh, string right here that four four slash UPD slash install so what you guys want to do is um, let's see let's go to edit and then click uh, let's see replace so um, I want you guys to remove the first one and then copy this string right here and then paste it in there and then uh oh shoot uh go back up to where uh we were just at uh where were we oh right here and then uh copy this string right here because we want to replace the obfuscated string with the one that is not obfuscated right here and then replace it with this and what this is going to do it's going to literally make everything so clear so what you guys want to do is click replace all so in this case right here you guys saw that so now uh this string equals this string and let's go down Let's see if we uh, can find the URL again. Uh, let's see. See right here, we can literally, uh, over here, we can literally rebuild the URL. And then uh, let me see, where was that spot we were just at? Right here, and we were just right here. So right now what we can do is we can remove the plus sign right here. And now we have an IP address right there. And then what you guys wanna do is remove this quotation mark right here and we just found our indicator of compromise just like that so in this case this URL is going to install something uh, from this place right here or download it from this URL and then it's going to in install install.exe which sounds weird but yeah and then uh, we have another uh, one so we have uh, this one right here uh, we have an obfuscated string and it equals four dot e right here plus x x e so what we could do in this case that looks like it says four dot exe right so let's remove uh these two quotation marks and then remove the plus and what we could do is just grab this right here and then let's go over here in the top right and then uh 
paste that in there and then grab this string right here and copy it and paste it in there and let's click replace all let's see what it does okay now we see that it's over here in the temp directory right here and what we can do is remove the quotation marks since we remember four 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 dot exe was one of the indicators of compromise so in this case we literally just figured out that it's going to be stored in the temp directory so yeah and let's see if we uh, can find anything else uh, let's see so okay I see something else so from here uh, I see a command right here that is uh, declaring that we should download something from the internet so system dot net dot web client basically means that we want to download something from the internet and in this case we are contacting this URL right here uh, remember we saw this uh, IP address this is an indicator of compromise right so right here we are downloading something from this IP address right here let me uh, remove this plus sign and then uh, this right here so in this case we got a full URL you guys can dump that inside of virus total and see how many hits it has and then after we download something over here from this URL so we see the command right here uh, start dash sleep uh, dash 15 right and then we have cmd.exe slash um, uh, let's see see and it's gonna be executing this file right here that's the part where it gets executed um, and yeah but if I were to go over the whole entire code this video would be like 10 hours long and I don't want you guys to sleep through this so yeah it's really hard to build a scenario from um, just looking at the code but if you have other tools to help you out like Ola VBA and uh, other stuff that are out there you guys can probably get a picture of what we were uh, dealing with so yeah but there's one more command I want to show you guys this one is really good so it is called via monkey so let's minimize this and then let me clear my screen and this command right here uh, is called via monkey and what via monkey basically does it uh, helps us analyze malicious documents and allows us to run the document in like a safe environment which we're going to be doing inside of the Remnux terminal and we can see the indicators of compromise without risking anything but before we do that I need to do ls real quick and see what we are missing so in this case we have the badoc, uh, dot VBA. my bad I highlighted the wrong one but this one right here make sure you have this that's why um, I did not delete it I kept it but before we run via monkey we need to delete some things so make sure you open it up in Visual Studio Code and we need to delete uh, let's see what we need to delete scroll down scroll down we need to find any uh, comments that get in the way so let's see so let's delete the bottom half right here let me see hold up it does not let me delete the bottom half we just need the VBA uh, script nothing else so right here we, j we will delete that delete the bottom part scroll up slowly anything that is not uh, visual basics delete it so in this case let me see and delete everything that is above this uh, over here and let's see if it works so remember we're deleting everything else besides the script so that VM monkey can uh, do its job for us so I think that's everything right okay yeah okay so what you guys want to do is uh, I hope it saves let me click uh, file and just click save and then uh, exit out open up your terminal right here and the command we're gonna be running is uh, VM monkey and then the name of the the output file the first one right here and let's click uh, enter so three two one go give it a second okay so it's parsing VBA code give it a second hopefully it doesn't take too long yeah I just figured out that you must remove uh, anything that is not visual basics inside of the uh, visual studio code when we open up the output file or else this tool would not work but hopefully you guys understood like what I removed so that's gonna take a while I'll get back to you guys once it is done all right the command just executed and finished so as you guys see we see the box remember I told you the box is important and then we have a lot of uh, things going on as you guys see the command that was uh, just executed so yeah we have a lot of analysis going on over here which VM monkey does for us you you will see some errors but just ignore it and go through it but yeah if you guys do not remove um, the non scripts inside of the output file the first one that we had the badoc.vba 
then this thing would not work. So um, let's see what we have inside of the recorded actions right here. So let's see. It, it also gives you like more information as well. So we have delete file right here. As you guys see right here, kill. So it's going to be killing this file right here. And then get object, execute query. And then uh, let's see. So drop file hash. That one was really weird. I've never seen that before. And then what else do we have? Uh, we have a location. Yeah, delete file again. I'm trying to see if I can find anything new. Yeah, there's a lot of uh, yeah, there's a lot of information like drop file hash, execute command. So um, let's see. I do have one more command that I could run. I'm gonna show you guys that one, but this one, it's kind of hard to read if you don't understand uh, what you're looking at in this case. But yeah, you guys see that it gives you more information because it puts it in like a sandbox environment. All right, let me run one more command. I think this command will be way better than the last one. Let's put dash dash IOCs, and this one will give us the indicators of compromise. So let's press enter, and then uh, let that load, and I'll get back to you guys once it is finished. All right, um, VM Monkey is currently doing its analysis uh, based off the command I just ran. So uh, give that a second to happen. Yeah, this tool is really crazy. Okay, now we have our output. And let's see if we found anything else. Um, it's the same thing. Yeah, we got the same thing, but let me see if it's different from the last one. I did do dash dash IOC, but in this case, we didn't really... Um, yeah, there, there is no difference, I think, because it's too much to read. But yeah, hopefully that um, helped you guys. But remember, some uh, visual uh, basic scripts may be tricky. Others would uh, not be. I would give you like the indicators of compromise straight up. But in this case, we really didn't find much. Uh, but right here we have, um, so we're opening. So we're going to be opening this file right here. Just look at the... Um, uh, the left column actions and then look at the parameters and description all together so start from left to right and you would start to build a scenario so let's see uh, we have drop file hash and then this is the name of this file I think and that's the, that that's the hash of it right here so let's see yeah we didn't find uh, a lot we have get object right here and Okay, I guess we couldn't find much because this uh, Visual Basic script was different. But remember, this gives you like a more complex output. If you guys understand it, then that's good for you. If you don't, then um, don't worry about it. Don't feel discouraged. Just take your time. Remember, uh, you might see uh, good stuff from other Visual Basic scripts that are malicious. And sometimes you won't see that much. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this part. Um, take care and peace.